Welcome to my creative carnival kitchen. Carnival girl here. This is my kitchen for the next like two months. I am in Montenegro, Ulcinch, Montenegro right now. I'm living a nomad life. So if you want to know more about my super cool, adventurous, interesting nomad life, Aline's Adventures, here is that link to the other channel. But so anyways, unfortunately, Montenegro is quite expensive, more expensive than I thought. They have the Euro here. That probably also has something to do with it. Anyways, I still have locked a recipe I think I can afford and um, I've never done it before, so let's see how it goes. So what is really cool about Montenegro, they have lots of cured, oh yeah, by the way, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> uh, I'm not wearing much, it's super hot and humid here. So anyways, in Montenegro, they have lots of cured and smoked meat, also in Serbia, but um, just like one ham is clean, needing just salt and pork meat, but in Montenegro here, there are actually multiple hams and also pancetta, bacon, super clean, just salt and pork. So that is cool. So here I found this, very open, so, and this is just premium prosciutto. So, um, prosciutto, I think pr prosciutto. Yeah, so like just um, cured ham and um, it's really, I checked it every time. So I know now this brand, this one here, this package, is the clean one that I keep buying this, but every time still I uh, translate it to make sure I really have the right one. So it's just pork and salt. So I want to use that. And this is the package um, that is cheaper. So there are like different one slices, so like really uh, thick. I already ate that one. Some are super thin, some are just like normal cuts. It's like, yeah, they're not perfectly cut. You also, you see how it's in here, no dividers and stuff, but I want to use those for my recipes. So we um, put all the kitchen stuff here. So this is our kitchen outside on the balcony because it's so hot, it's humid. We don't have an AC, so who no, we can't cook inside. That would be dreadful. That's cool. Oven is here. So I wanna, um, I even had to look it up, um, 350. That's like, what is that? Now I already forgot, 180? I think that's it. Well, let's just put it here in the middle. And if we heat this, yeah, um, upper and lower one. And let's just turn this on. So while I'm preheating this, the oven here, I want to use that one here. I uh, thought, ooh, when I saw this, I just um, thought, oh, I have to make a recipe with this one here. And here, I already took out some of the ham here. That looks good, that is nice, that is thinly cut. Um, oh yeah, look at that nice one. So I just want to layer it out. So like, not just the bottom, also the rim here. I don't know why, but I choose to put the non-fatty part or lesser fatty part um, on the top, uh, edge here. I don't know, I just feel like it's better. I don't know, just a feeling. Everything is nicely laid out. Here is like lots of fat, so it's like really thin. So I thought I'm um, just to be sure, to be safe. I'm gonna put also a little bit more of the meaty part on here. So everything nicely covered. Here, I already put in eggs, 10 eggs. I don't know, I've never worked with, it, with this form before, so we will see. So I wanna add salt. You don't even have to use any salt. Yeah, this is actually very salty. So be careful, don't over salt this. So maybe I don't even need that much here. But I use a lot of salt, I need a lot of salt. Um, it's my body type and I train a lot. Okay, so let's see. By the way, I was also super happy when I saw they have a whisk here. Yeah, when you live a nomad life and you're in different places with different kitchens, you you don't always have the same stuff to work with. So having a whisk is great. Having this is great. Actually, super easy recipe. Just layering this out and egg on top. Ooh, I need more. Oh my gosh, I gotta make some more. So I did add eight more eggs. And you see here, uh, I could add a more, but here it's actually almost already, yeah, to the top, it's because this is not um, even, so mine will become very unevenly. Well, that's just what I, what I work with here. So when I developed that um, recipe in my head at night in bed, I had the idea, oh, but also would be cool to put some beef granola in it, like sprinkle it over it, push it down. Beef granola, here is a recipe for that. I don't have any beef granola here, but I just um, fried some beef, very crispy, you see really well fried. And so I actually couldn't decide, should I 
put should I add it or not? I would also like to have some without. So when I have problems like that, I just do it on half. So like this half here. Oop. I don't want too much. It's just uh, I thought that would have to push them down, but they kind of float, so I don't even know if they. Yeah, maybe they just stay on top or they go to the bottom. Let's see what happens. As mentioned, this is my first time making this. I have no idea how long. I'm gonna check after 30 minutes. Wow, look at this. So I left it in for 36 minutes. I think those 30 minutes was actually a good idea. Mm, maybe, no, it looks good. It feels firm. It's still super hot, so it's basically uh, still kind of baking more. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's see if I can actually manage it to get it out of the form because of the um, prosciutto, the ham. It shouldn't be too hard to get it off because uh, with the fat, it's um, like greased up. So I didn't grease it up, as you see, as you could see. And now you see, it's like, yeah, there is, of course, there's always some egg that's get, that gets out and that gets stuck to the form, but it's still super hot. Um, oh, this got crunchy, super delicious. I want to try. Ooh. I think there it's okay. Now it should be free. Okay. Oh, I really hope I'm not going to destroy it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <gasps> yes. Oh, so cool. Hey, so pretty to serve also for guests. Yeah, this always happens that you see some egg, but you could also take this off maybe to expose the, um, the ham, but that, uh, cool. Yeah, you can, you can fill it up less. So you have more of a ring here that comes out and that could, that's like crispy, crunchy. That's super cool. Oh, I love this. You can serve this cold, warm, hot, uh, the next day from the fridge. I always want to try it in every way. So now it's still warm, probably still hot. So here I can see the beef. So I hope the beef stayed in this part. Woo, yeah. As I expected, it uh, will be just on one side, either up here or down here, makes sense, it goes down. So yeah, cool, it looks super cool, huh? Well, yeah, you can also just surf it like this, or I, I like to make um, little pieces. Okay, cool, so. I cut from this side without. There is no ground beef, um, beef granola. For me, it's just uh, uh, very well fried ground beef pieces in it. So cut two stripes and here I cut these little pieces. I wanna try that one here. Actually, I should try a, a corner, a little corner. Yes, there's some ground beef. Ooh, aguita. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is so cool. This is totally um crunchy. You could also um make some crunchy ones and then sprinkle it over it. Yes, here it is. I try to taste the ground beef. Mm, once I get some ground beef, yeah, I taste it. Oh here. Oh here's even one up here. Here's even one up here, you see? I think I should have put in more ground beef, like, yeah, a lot more, so like really make it with ground beef, and here without. I actually think without is probably even cooler. Ooh, well, of course, just eggs, but still, it's so cool. I love it. I'm gonna eat some more, but then the rest I'm gonna put in the fridge. So I have more tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and um, I might even put some other stuff on it, like kind of use it as a bread or, or just like that. It's so good and super easy to do. Okay, so it's the day after and yes, I'm getting ready for the beach. Still very hot here. And uh, here, cold from the fridge. So good, so refreshing, perfect for a hot um, day. Mm, almost even better. Also, the egg is not dry at all. It's like super um, moist and just so refreshing. 
So for this variation, I want to mix in some fish. I just bought the cheapest fish, honestly. Uh, it was frozen, caught, and um, I cut it really thinly and I squeezed out the, the water. So it's 160 grams. And actually, I would put it in with the eggs. I would blend it with a blender, with a hand blender or something. But here, um, I don't have one. So <laughs> let's see what I can do. I try to really like uh, make it as small as possible. I'm even like gonna try to massage it into the egg. Yeah, without the blender, I won't get it really smooth, of course. You see, I have all these bits in it, but that's okay. Uh, maybe they will all sink down. It's been 28 minutes, and as you can see, it's not done, but the surface is basically uh, dry. I have more prosciutto here, and this time, for this version, so I want to cover it. So I'm back into the oven for the remaining time. So I left it in for five minutes and then I changed the settings to all the way up, uh, highest heat to broil, just um, upper heat and left it in for another five minutes. I think once you cover it with um, prosciutto and you put it back in, you can do the change right away. Um, yeah, of course it curls up a bit. I forgot about that here. Yeah. I could also have put on a bit more or two layers, but this is another variation. And this time with fish. I think it actually got even with the fish. Kinda cool. This version, as you can see, I want to layer it out with ground beef. Here I've already done this half and um, this just regular ground beef I got from a grocery store, the butcher there. And here, this ground beef, I got from the Halal Butcher. And uh, we always get that ground beef and it's so delicious. It's really fatty and look, it, it, I'm pretty sure it has like organs or something in it. Like the taste is so different. It's so delicious. It's super fatty. It's, uh, yeah, I'm sure there are organs or something else in it. But if you form patties, they don't stick together. They basically crumble apart after you cook them. So it doesn't really stick together. But um, I really wanted to use this as well for this dish, but I'm kind of worried that then uh, the bottom where I'm here, I'm using it for the bottom and I'm worried that it, the bot bottom will crumble up, that this ground beef won't really work for this. But um, so I couldn't decide, should I use this special one from the Halal Butcher or should I just use regular ground beef? So that's why every time when I can't decide, I just do half and half. So you see, I just, um, you can make it as thick, as thinly as you want. I would make it too thin so it would get holes. So I like mine quite thinly. So I'm just gonna finish up here. So before I put the egg on top, um, ground beef has a lot of water and when it gets cooked, it also shrinks. It um, loses a lot of water. It gives a lot of water free. And um, I thought, so I have no idea how this will turn out, but I had the idea, hey, let's just use Gelatin. Yeah, gelatin powder. This is even beef gelatin powder. So cool. Um, this is an, an entire package is 10 grams. I was thinking to use the whole thing. And yes, I could have mixed it um, into the ground beef, but I didn't do that on purpose. I just want to sprinkle it over. The same actually with the salt, almost forgot. I didn't mix in any salt, what I could have totally done, but thought, no, I'm just going to do it this way. And now the same with the gelatin. And I was even thinking, now here I have powder, even if I would have the sheets, you know, like sometimes in Switzerland, you have like those gelatin sheets. I thought I would just put the sheets on top and see what happens. So now I'm really just, look at this. And of course I want it here also on the edges. I mean, gelatin is super healthy. So yeah, let's just use this up. Try to spread it out evenly. <laughs> so my hope is, that the gelatin will absorb all the moisture, all the water that will come out and the fat. And also this part, you remember I said, this kind of ground beef doesn't hold together very well. So maybe with the gelatin now, um, it will hold together. Let's see, I'm super excited. Okay, oven is preheated. And if you're asking yourself why I'm using a different form this time, um, 
I broke the other one. I have to buy a new one. This time I used the 16X. Just X, nothing else this time. Oh, look at this. I think it looks so good. Oh, look, it kind of rose up here. We have a nice edge, we can see. Here it just went over the edge. Oh, so what I can tell is here, the ground beef from the butcher with probably also organs in it. You see, I really, I, I pushed all the ground beef nicely, well to the form. And here it actually kind of stuck to the form. So it didn't shrink or went in. And here, I did the same here, but look, it shrunk. Maybe because it shrunk here, it didn't shrunk here. I don't know, but um, here we don't see, you see here is the ground beef, but the egg came over it here too. Here, this is also, uh, there was a problem. I saw it, this is not um, level. So most of the egg was like here on top of this. I did manage to get it out of the form and look here, it looks actually very pretty, like what I wanted. And here it just, yeah, the ground beef shrunk. Here the egg, came, well, it's still gonna be super delicious. And here the two sides cut. So here just a regular ground beef, you see it got like more towards the inside. And here the ground beef from the halal butcher. Here it just like shrunk, so it got thicker. And that one didn't shrink, so it stayed thinner. So yeah, this one worked much more nicely. Look at this, beautiful. Well, this is delicious too. And I really think the gelatin helped. Otherwise, we would have so much water. So yes, there is a bit of um, liquid, mostly fat, some water. But otherwise, this would be full. Aguita. Both super delicious. But I just like that one better because this ground beef is just a different flavor. Much more flavorful from the halal butcher by so delicious. Ooh, another advice. Don't cook it all the way through. Look, this is actually how I like it the best. This is so delicious. Thank you for watching. These were three versions of my egg casserole. Make it your own. Use ground pork, use ground lamb, use um, something else to put into the egg, like chicken or whatever you want. So these are just some ideas. Um, don't forget to subscribe here for my Creative Carnivore Kitchen channel. A ton of recipes are there. Um, and here for my Nomad Life Aline's Adventures channel to um, figure out where I go next. What is after Montenegro? Stay happy, stay healthy. Servus! Bye!